Welcome to our lecture online and here's lesson number three in algebra, word problems with a single variable. We're going to start off with word problems with numbers and here's our first example. We have one number is two less than four times another number. The sum of the two is 33, find the numbers. So we're dealing with two numbers here, we're going to express them in terms of x. Typically you let x be the smaller of the two numbers. So we have one number, which is two less than four times another number. So this other number, this would be the smaller number. And then the one that is four times the smaller number, but two less than that, that would probably be the larger number. And typically, you're going to let x equal the smaller number. So let x equal the smaller number, and it's always a good idea to write that down like so. And so then how would we express the larger number? Now the larger number is going to be two less than four times the smaller number. But if the smaller number is x, then four times the smaller number is 4x, and then two less than that, we subtract two from 4x. So we could say then that 4x minus two is equal to the larger number. Smaller down. Ooh. What am I writing here? Smaller number, that's what I want to write. And here, small, and this is the larger number, or larger number. Okay, so again, let x be the smaller number, and the larger number is then professed to be four times the smaller number minus two, right here. Now we can go ahead and use the other information. It says that the sum of the two is 33, which means that the smaller number plus the larger number equals 33. That's what they mean when they say the sum of the two. The smaller number plus the larger number equals 33, and the smaller number was represented by x, so we write x, and then the larger number was represented by 4x minus 2. And that should add up to 33, and then all we have to do here is solve for x, and we figure out what the two numbers are. All right, so solving this for x, Again, the rule is keep all the x's on the left side of the equation, move all the numbers without the x to the right side. So this becomes x plus 4x on the left side equals 33. Now this becomes plus 2. Whenever you move a number to the other side, the sign changes, so the minus 2 becomes a plus 2. Combine like terms on both sides, so x plus 4x is 5x. 33 plus 2 is 35. Now we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of x. So that cancels out, and x equals 35 divided by 5, which is 7. So the smaller number is 7. What about the larger number? Well, the larger number is 4 times 7 minus 2. So this is equal to 4 times 7 minus 2, which is 28, minus 2, which is 26. So the larger number is 26, the smaller number is 7. And that's how you do that one. Uh, we'll have lots more examples for you, so stay tuned.